Feeling good. Very uh, controlling, so glad everybody's on schedule. We got to where we got to. The amazing, beautiful spot. And uh, I don't know. I guess it's with being in, if you want to say, in charge. Someone. It's uh, trying to make sure everybody's happy and everybody's uh, can do their job the best of their abilities, and you give them all the opportunities you can. And uh, just trying to make sure I do that more for myself. And um, that happens. I think there's less worry about making everybody else happy, although it's still an important thing. But uh, that goes. We end up at places like these. I'll be happy. We are right outside Popayan. I think like just three to five kilometers. Uh, we use this app called iOverlander. It's been a lifesaver. You go on there, and it's, uh, it's like an open source thing that people can go on. They'll put landmarks of where they've been, what they did. And there's certain uh, icons on there. So, for example, like a place to camp, like an official campground. So this place was on there. People told us how much they, when they checked in, so you know if it's been six months or if it's been yesterday. And they said they went here. The place is incredible. Bathrooms, just bathrooms. The showers work. Electricity. So we don't have to even rely on the solar panel. We can plug right into the building over here. And yeah, we can have all the comforts inside that bus from charging up all of our electronics uploading videos and you know watching Rick and Morty at night or Vikings I won't be watching with Max <laughs> drive is a piece of cake um, flat flat for the most part um, no problems getting uphill traffic no police stops it was really easy I mean it, it's it sucks sometimes we really can't push it especially in this these areas of Columbia we haven't had any problems with safety security at all, but it's more of the anti, anti-government, a little more of guerrilla groups in these parts, so don't want to chant anything, especially when you hear stories from Colombians saying, don't drive at night, I've gotten robbed at gunpoint, even though people seem pretty intimidated by that thing right there. It's great having a full crew. Um, not just a full crew, but when everybody seems to be on the same wavelength, and I think that definitely stems from me and Daniel. So. You know, now that those things are firing, I mean, just in talks that I have with friends and family back home, like, I'm just even more excited. It's, you know, gives me a great feeling, you know, seeing everything you envisioned from, you know, two years ago when I was in South America to actually come to fruition is really, really positive. And I think it's just even more of a example, a message that, you know, anybody anywhere can get behind and be a part of. Anything else you want to say? Um, fuck you, Natalie. Perfect. <laughs> well, tonight, I'll start with tonight, we're headed back into town, into Popayan. Gonna try and get all of our exploring in, condensing every little bit of everything. And then early tomorrow, get some photos, get some videos of everything we're doing, make sure everything's uploaded, ready to go for the day. And then we're off to San Augustine. It's gonna be a, it's only 140 kilometers, so you're looking at like 80, 90 miles, but it's gonna take us four plus hours. It's a little bit more of a non-paved road, a lot more dirt. It's gonna be able for us to get there. It's just, uh, it's just a little bit, a little bit bumpier, a little bit bouncing, especially in this thing. This thing's really sensitive.